Hey folks, in this video we're going to show you how you can give actual uh, textual feedback to students in a discussion forum. So in a discussion forum you do have the ability to provide a grade, uh, but it isn't straightforward about how you give feedback. So there's, there's two real ways you can give feedback. The first is when you have a student that posts, you can click on their post and you can, you know, see what they have to say and then you can reply. And when you reply, you can check this little box that says reply privately so that you're just providing them information directly to them. Nobody else is seeing it. It's really just between you and the student. That's helpful. That can be useful. Uh, but there's another way that I often recommend, especially if you're going like if this is feedback that's in that's important for them to understand globally or in real, you know in in the kind of their work across the course. This would be stuff that they could more easily access in the gradebook. So I'm going to hit cancel here. And I'm going to come here to settings and it's going to say do that. I'm going to leave page and when I come to settings, I am going to scroll down to where it has whole form grading. And here we do have a, you know, we have our points uh, and then we have the grading method and the default is simple and direct grading. That means it's just a grade. Uh, so let me give you a quick look of what that means. Were I to grade this student or ready to grade the student, I would select grade users here in the discussion forum and I would toggle to that particular student, right? So here is that student in their post. Um, you can't quite see it because the, the page is a little bit uh, off here, but here would be all the posts on the left. And then I could put in a grade here. Now notice I can just put in a numerical grade. That's it. Um, I can't provide any additional feedback to make sense of that. So let's take a look at how we change it. So let's go back to those settings. I'm going to hit close. And I'm going to come back here to settings. So here I am. We have simple direct grading. I'm going to actually change that to a marking guide. I could also do rubric, but let's stick with marking guide for now. All right. So I'm going to say marking guide, and then I'm going to do save and display. When I do this the first time, it is going to bring up a screen like this that says advanced grading and all that means is you now actually have to build out the marking guide so you may already have marking guides that you've created great once you create one you can usually use that for all of your discussions in a in a course or across courses but in this case let's build it from new so we're going to define new grading form from scratch all right now it's going to want us to give it a name so i'm just going to give it uh discussion grading guide. And then down here, it's going to give us uh, a set of things to fill out. And so I'm going to fill these out. It's going to be the, the edit, the criteria name, what the description is that students see, what's the description for markers, that is people who, uh, who are grading, and then uh, the maximum score for this section. So I'm going to pause and fill this out quickly, just so you can kind of see what that looks like. So I filled these out and I've really just created two uh, two criteria that we're going to look at, or for this particular discussion, you can do as many criteria as you want. You can, you know, assign them whatever points you want. But for me, I did post content, and this is, you know, the the description that students would see is provides original thoughtful responses to the prompt that incorporate class discussion and learning materials. And then the same for the description markers. I don't know that there's a lot of difference there for us to to make any difference. Um, and then I provided, you know, this is worth 50 points. I did the same with the second criteria, which is reply content that is what you know what the students provide for replies so once I have both of those that feels like a good set I can keep adding criteria if I want but I really don't need to at this point um, I can also move these up and down so if I needed to move this down I could move this down all of that I can also start to add frequently used comments comments that I can uh, that I know come up regularly that I can use as feedback. So say I've done all this, this is all looking great, then I'm going to just save marking guide and make it ready. It'll take a second to stick. And then now when it's time for me to go in and grade users, we're going to go back in here. And again, over here, we're going to toggle to that particular student. And I just want you to see here, you know, you have this nice little setup of, you know, here is the post content. And so I can give that score up to 50. I can provide additional con uh, comments and I can do the same here, right? All of that's perfect. It's great. This is really good if you're, you, you're getting into some real nuance and, and the like. Wonderful. 
all set to go, I can put in those comments, and when I'm done, just hit save up here. Very similarly, uh, you can do this with a rubric. Uh, so let's take a look at how we would do that. All right, so I went back to those settings. I chose rubric instead, so we're going to give this a, a title of grading rubric for discussions. And we're scroll down, and again, here now we have criteria. Again, we have criteria, and then we have levels. So again, I'm going to just fill this out quickly, and then um, we'll talk about it. So here I have actually created the rubrics. Again, very simple, mimicking what I did before. Uh, I don't know that I would actually use these per se, but I have them here. Uh, if I wanted to add another one, it's actually really cool. You can just hit the little copy button, and it spits it out down here. Uh, and if you want to delete it, you can just delete and there we go. All right, so if this is all set, I'm gonna hit save and make it ready, or save rubric and make it ready. And now let's go back to the forum. All right, so this is our rubric. This is what it's looking like, great. We'll go back to the forum. We'll go back to grade users. And we'll toggle over to this student here and see now I have for each of these areas so this is post content I can select which one I want I can provide additional feedback right so I can do some comments I can do the same here provide some additional comments and hit save and close so that's it that's how you would uh, create a space that you can give feedback feedback that's part of their gradebook and the like um, that is using a rubric or just doing that reply hope this is helpful let me know if you have any questions